What's up, everybody? This is the 329th day, make it song bringer. And I'm um, back from an extended weekend up in the mountains, had a good weekend. And been going to GDC yesterday. Well, not actually to GDC, but to GDC parties and stuff like that. So, man, it's a busy week. This is uh, um, since last Friday, last Thursday. So, one of the longest stretches of not working on this game. Man, so sorry. Um, so but anyways, today I'm going to be working on fixing some bugs. Let me, oh, I, I forgot I got to get my chat window open. What's up, Mighty Ness? Yes, it's early stream. Let's get the, the chat window open. Was it, re what, it was really loud? How could it be loud? Oh man, it might be this new game show, or it could be that I'm sitting down. What's up, Boogie? All right, well, we got some, yeah, I'm early. Got some problems to deal with already before we can even deal with the other problems. Okay, let's get the sound going.
about that, guys. Is it still loud? Sound? Let's turn it down. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because of the... Well, nah, I can't really change, put on any headphones while I'm... Let's put the music volume down and the sound volume down. Maybe 30% or something? Let's see if this is better. I gotta get a chat window. Let me know if this is sounds better with uh, the game's audio way quieter. gonna turn it all the way off. Oh shit, I just changed Linux. Never mind. Never mind. It's gotta be better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Alright, sorry about that guys. Yeah, I tried turning the system volume down. It doesn't it's not my system volume that affects that. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's a new version of Game Show. So, um, and I'm sitting down today, so it's a uh, so it's a little different. So, um, what I'm working on today is I'm gonna fix some bugs. Uh, I was just saying that I haven't actually been able to work on the game since last Thursday. Uh, I had a lot of really busy weekend, um, and now I've been at GDC yesterday all day. So basically, um, and then I gotta go to GDC tonight. So pff, trying to get an update out to Songbringer this week is gonna be crazy, uh, but I'm gonna do it. So there'll be some kind of update out this week. So I gotta get, I gotta start working on bugs immediately. And the biggest bug so far is that the barriers don't disappear after killing this slime guy. So that's top priority. So I'm going to get my, my whole debug environment set up and start debugging. Alright, so the problem is that when, um, when you defeat the mini-bosses, or these are, these are like a random encounter mini-bosses, whenever you defeat them, or not whenever, but like a lot of people have been having problems. Almost everybody has reported this problem. So this is a huge bug um, where you defeat the, the, the random mini boss and then you don't get the item that is supposed to be emitted from the boss. Like for, for many reasons, maybe it, the item gets put on some water or the item gets put under a bush or the item gets put behind a, a cliff. There's a lot of reasons. So that's today's goal is to identify this bug, zero in on it, and fix it. So, first thing I need to do is make it so I'm going to encounter this boss. I'm gonna just fight him once and see if I can reproduce this bug. So this guy appears as long as you don't have a top hat and you've been to a bunch of different areas. Okay, so I'm removing the top hat and I need to be on the overworld. I'll save this area because I need to go back there. Maybe I'll go here. Alright, so I'm going to the overworld. I'm gonna look at... Oh yeah, this might be a really great area actually. We got a we got some a river in the middle here. 
which is almost exactly like... The, the bug report. Yeah, look at that. I did not even get the top hat. What? Okay, well there, we got the bug confirmed. We have a place we can do it. It doesn't even look like it even dropped the top hat. I definitely don't have it. I got some upgrades, but those aren't those aren't top hat. Oh wait, maybe it's because of the upgrades. Let's make sure that it's not it doesn't have anything to do with the upgrades. So I'll take the upgrades off. Fire top hat. The extended top hat, the hyper top hat. And I will fight him again. Still nothing, wow. Okay, so this is more, more of a bug than I even anticipated. Oh, and there's another bug right there. Refle reflection's off. I'll take a screenshot here, is this? take a look at that later so this screenshot uh, is revealing another bug where the reflections off all right so now it's time to start debugging why the heck isn't he dropping the top hat he's supposed to and this is what this is the bug that everybody is getting it's always like not dropping the top well yeah, maybe it is not always. Anyways, let's figure out why. Um, first of all, we need to see if the enemy is even getting the item when it's when it's spawned. That's in story system. When it spawns a, there we go. Spawn foe. We're already right at it. It's great. Yeah, okay, here we go. Here's the item string. Parses the item. And then applies it to the strongest foe. Which should have been spawned already. Let's see if it's already spawned. Yes, this should create the foe. Okay, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna um yeah, this will be fine to set the breakpoint here first. Okay. So this should reveal why it's not attaching this item to the to the foe. So the item string it parsed is item zero, which is a world, a story item, a parsed world. So if I parse the world item. I get item type 22. Let me view that as an item type so we can see what it actually is. Yeah, that's the top hat. Great. So it's got the item. Now it should be getting the health component. Let's see what happens when it calls find strongest. Okay, so return the value 743, which is the EID. Let's see if the health component is correct. Looks like 36 hit points. That, sh that sounds like about how much this guy should have. He's currently got a K item life. And it looks, okay, so it looks like it's properly attaching the item to the enemy. The next thing we should test is if it, um, if when the item, when the enemy is killed, if the item is being emitted or ignored. All right, so we need a breakpoint in the health system. 
on foe death. Set a breakpoint there and make sure, now I'm gonna make sure that when this guy dies, that he still has that health item. All right, so his health component. Hi, Pedro. Uh, now, okay, now it's different. Now he has a max hit points of 24. So that might not have, yeah, and now he has an item of none. So that might not have actually been the right enemy. So if I go back to, um, we can open up my breakpoints. I've got that other breakpoint. Story system. I'm gonna do system int right here. It looks like it, the problem might be that it's actually not finding the strongest foe, which is is kind of weird. Let's do this. AI find strongest K filter foe like that. If uh, yeah. Okay, let's compile that. Run this one. How you guys been? How's your weekends? How's everything? I'm excited to have my taxes almost done. That's cool. I got my business taxes done. Just got to get my personal taxes done. It's been a really exciting time at GDC. Yesterday, I've got to meet a lot of people. And I'm going to another party tonight. So meeting, meeting lots of people in the game development industry. Really cool. Okay, so this item is fine, but I just want to see what entity. Well, find strongest foe. Let's set the breakpoint there instead. Run to here. When it gets this entity, what entity is this it's getting? 743, same guy. Profile is, the survey says, Karsh. Oh, because there's a freaking river monster here. Oh my god, there's the bug, found it. <laughs> okay, so the bug is that there's another enemy on this screen. There's the Karsh. And the Karsh is the swimming river shark enemy. And honestly, that enemy shouldn't even be on the screen. See, it should have unspawned all foes already. Oh, this is this sucks trying to look at code in that tiny window. Which loops over all AI components calls unspawn foe, which deletes the entity, which happens after the tick, schedule after update. Uh, so the problem, is, it looks like I might just need to schedule the item for after the update. Can you raffle your, yes, of course. You can do whatever you want with your extra Steam key, man. Yeah, give it to a friend. Sell it on eBay if you want. Whatever you want to do, do it, man. You don't need my permission. Uh, so yeah, if I schedule this for after the update, it'll work. But that is kind of a, this is all kind of revealing. This is a janky ass system right here. Find strongest foe. Not what we want. We want to. We want to not find the strongest foe, but just use the freaking foe that got spawned. Hey, nice, you won. Right on, man. Okay, just send me an email. Congratulations, Pedro. Send me an email, I'll send you your Steam key. All right. Congratulations, Pedro, winner of today's Steam key. Pedro raffled it 2,000 points for a 50% chance to win and won a Steam key today. Everybody who's watching the stream, you can also get points 
by just watching the stream. As long as you are following the stream, you get the points. And then uh, you can raffle it 1,000 points, and every 1,000 points is 25% chance. So if you raffle 2,000 points, you get a 50% chance. Okay, so this janky system, man. Janky, janky. Spawn foe. Uh, I need to make sure this works right. Because there, there's, I think I, the reason I did this with this find strongest before is that I wanted to, I wanted the code to work even if there were multiple enemies. So if there was like two different mini bosses, for example, it would just give the item to the strongest one. But that's kind of ridiculous because oh spawn foe hold on Sp maybe just spawn foe should have an item yeah I think the best way to do this is to give spawn foe an item and then for the first quantity like the uh, quantity zero or whatever it'll um it'll give the item to that first guy you, you want your extra five points back? <laughs> Which one is it? All right, so area.c.h spawn foe. Oh, where, where else do I call this actually? Let me make sure. This is being called from story system. That's it. Story system is the only place it calls this. So this is totally safe to change this. Unsigned flags and also give this an item type. Item. So just make this function a lot stronger. This whole giving the item a lot weak, a lot less weak, basically. When we get that compiling, this is gonna take a while while I'm streaming. Streaming software eats up my CPU. Nice. Uh, I love the sloth. I love the raccoon. These are these are really good ones. I like these ones too. Look, they've got good quality pings these days. The pings have gotten a lot qu more quality over the over the year I've been streaming. Item type item. All right, so with quantity is zero, we're gonna apply that item to that guy. Here's where we go, parse the item. Item string, item is not equal to none, blah, 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 blah. Spawn, pass in the item. Go to spawn foe, make sure he applies this item. Stupid jump to doesn't work. Spawn foe. Okay, so we got the, the entity created. We're tracking the foe, we're setting them up. Here's exactly where we want to apply an item. I haven't I haven't coded in like four days, so I'm I'm typing all funny today. I need to make sure this guy has a health component. Oh, and and 
And this needs to be the first entity, first enemy we've created yeah, from this spawn foe, because this can spawn multiple quantities of foes. So this index is zero, we have an item, the entity, the enemy has a health component, then we are applying this item. What's up, welcome new followers, Masolis, Sabach, Seb Schwo, Bromis Vak, and Tijos. Dude, what do you mean, declaration shot? The declaration of this comment shadows a local variable. You should be ashamed of yourself for having this warning. I don't think it co actually compiled this file. I bet you anything, Xcode did not actually compile that right then. Don't ask me why. All right, great, we're applying the item. We are not applying, let's make sure we're not applying yeah, we're not applying the item the other way. Let's make sure it compiled this file too. Stupid Xcode. Okay, great. So now we're spawning a foe, and instead of instead of using a janky system where we're like backwards trying to find the strongest foe and then apply the item to that, we're simply just using the item we already know we have and passing it in when we're actually creating the foe. So this should be a lot more of a rock solid system for giving the item to this this mini boss that we're spawning. So now I'm gonna run the game, kill the mini boss, and it really should drop that item. If it doesn't then I'll I'll be I'll be damned. Alright we're hitting a breakpoint. I wanna turn off breakpoints for a moment, just let it do its thing. There we go. Yes, good, it spawned the top bat that time. Great. That's pretty awesome. What a great area to test this in, man. All right. Okay, uh, I think this is a great start. I think this bug is fixed, but I wanna make sure this never happens again. I wanna, I wanna double check my work here. Um, see if there's some other way this could possibly break and I could think of one way What if the item actually does spawn underneath a bush or Something like that so my idea there is to is to make it so when when an enemy Has an important item that they drop it somewhere that's guaranteed to be something that you can walk on immediately too. Jib won't even have to scan that enemy, so. So let's, let's do this. First of all, I'm gonna check in what I got so far. It's a great, great start to the fix. Make sure everything's all good. Yeah, we're just we're just spawn foe now takes an item. Good. Fixed mini boss not dropping top hat. Okay, like I said, that probably fixes the bug in 80% of the cases. But there's still an edge case where it could drop an item that you cannot reach. So let's fix that. My idea there is to make every health component have an important flag. So the important, if it has the important item flag, when an enemy dies, it will immediately emit the item at a point where you can reach it, instead of Jib even have to scan it. So that'll help. That'll help the the, the dungeons too. There's certain cases where you're in the dungeon, and there's like four enemies on the screen, 
and you kill all four of the enemies, but before Jib has a chance to scan all the bodies, you've left the room, there might be, there's a chance that there might be an, an important item in one of those enemies. So I'm going to make it right now so that whenever there's an important item inside an enemy, it will always just immediately emit the item rather than Jib having to scan it. So this should solve the pro solve not only this edge case here with this mini boss dropping his item, but also save players from getting frustrated later on in dungeons where it might not they might not have scanned the body of an of an enemy with an important item they need to proceed through the dungeon. So this should really help a lot of things here. And hopefully this does not introduce any other bugs, which is hard to guarantee. But let's let's just hope this is done well. Okay, so I'm adding a health component flag called important item. Let's get that compiling. All right, well, now, now we got an important item flag. We don't necessarily need this hooked up in the CPP with a word because I don't think this will ever be used by a profile. This is more used by code. So, all right, the next thing we need to do is make it so that it adds this important item flag to any important enemy. First enemy, of course, would be the spawn foe enemy with the function we just edited. Uh, spawn foe. Here we go. So we got health item being applied. Let's also go e health flags. Adding this health. important item. The next one is in a dungeon when an important item is being applied to, from an area item. I think that's in, oh it's also here in area.cpp. Uh, what function would that be? It's in, I guess it's in create foes, which is right here. Awesome. Now here it is, hide item inside enemy, great. So yeah, we're creating all these entities, hiding an item, area item, this is it, oh, great. Awesome, awesome. Boom, there. So now we got the health flag applied to the two important cases where you would, where you need this flag. And now we just need to make it so the item immediately comes flying out of the enemy when you kill them, if they have this important item flag. So that is going to be in on foe death. Set item status. Yeah, here's where it, here's where it um yeah, there's gonna be a couple things that need to be edited here because this is yeah, this is where it actually just this is where it sets the fallen flow foe flag and later on. Is there an on boss? I think there is an on boss death. Yeah, there's on boss death.
which, okay, oh, hold on a sec. Gotta ch check out my beans. I'm cooking some beans right now in the background. Sorry, everybody. Be right back. Those smell delicioso. Okay, well. Free parking! Mine has won 78 points. Alright, I think this is a lot, this is simpler than I was imagining. Right here it's creating an item status. The item status is where Jib uh, can go and then scan the, scan the item. We don't want to do this for... We don't want to do this for the enemy that has an item, that has an important item. So. We want to check if it if the enemy has this is on foe yeah on foe death e health flags k flag no oh, okay do 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 what's taking so long Xcode I just backspaced Jesus health important item God once again. Oh, I hate to be deterred. WTF Xcode. This is else. I guess we can just do it like that. Else if not is boss. Area set item status. This we're gonna go area dot create item. Blah 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 blah. So many create functions. God damn. Create item. 138 points. That's not enough. Dog, oh, you gave him away. <laughs> okay, I'll give some to Bafu too. Yeah, so we're gonna immediately create this item. E, health, item. The position is gonna be E, pause. E, position, pause. Create item status, true. We want this item to definitely be remembered. Hey, what's up, Akuma? How you been, man? But I think this function has some more functionality. Yeah, there's velocity and float height we can add to this. So velocity. Oh, this is crazy. We don't really want that much velocity on the Z. Oh, I guess we could do some Z velocity. That actually would be... That would be appropriate. So let's, let's do some crazy cool Z velocity on this. Like make it just bounce up in the air, like maybe a hundred, and then float high at zero. Okay, let's see if this works. 
Whoa! What's up, Hardboiled? We got a BC Warrior train going. So, yeah, welcome to the stream, everybody. I'm fixing some bugs. It's a busy-ass week this week. GDC is here. There's lots, lots of parties to go to and people to see. And, and uh, um, yeah, so I am still shooting to have an update out for Songbringer on Steam for, like, this Thursday, maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. I don't know. I'd like to have all the bosses way more better, but I'm, I think I'm probably going to mostly fix bugs. Because that was weird. The item was like way in the air. Okay, what, let's tone down that Z velocity a bit. See what happens this time. Oh, tons, man. Yeah, you're good. Cool. Yeah, just, yeah, I'm just busy. Just working on, you know, getting the update out for Songbringer and also trying to go to as many GDC events as I can this week. See some people. I might see Lith. Lithoon, he's been he's a watcher of the stream. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened here? This, like enemy came back to life and now I can't press any buttons. Oh, crazy bug, man. What happened here? Oh no, this is a horrible one. Oh. Oh, let me try and catch this. See what's happening in the code at this point. Uh, I shouldn't set a breakpoint there. Um, I guess we would want to go. The flux system is currently running. Let's go. Let's set a breakpoint and tick. Man, you're fixing one bug and another bug comes up. Ain't that just how it goes, huh? Hard to focus when you got a million bugs. All right, set a breakpoint there, run to that. Okay, good, we've got to that. That means we can now try and debug this a little bit. You're drowning in code? Uh, no, hardball. I have not. I literally. This is the very. This is the very first moment I've even ba been back to my computer since last Thursday. So yeah, I can't wait to check out that video. It looks cool. Um, but yeah, I'll get. I'll get to that, man. It's on my list. It's like right here on my desktop. Got my homework to do. You guys are almost demo ready. Nice. Nice, man. Cool. Kickstarter green light. Right on. What's your game called again? This one you're working on? Okay, we'll see if I can catch this bug while it's happening. Because this is a horrible bad bug. I can't even press any buttons. We got a phase that we're ticking. This has an ignore lock even. So here's where we really want our breakpoint. Delete that one. Okay, and if I can All these have ignore lock. Yeah, I'm pressing keys, nothing's happening. Why not? Um, I need... It's called Take This. Cool. Intriguing. It's an intriguing name.
Wait a minute. Wait just one doggone minute. This flux tick is like right after the... No, no, it clears release buttons at the end of the tick. That gives it a little bit of time to come back into the loop. Tick the controllers. Yeah, I think this might be wrong. Wait, we're, yeah, we're letting them accumulate before the next tick. Why did this bug have to happen just right now? What's up, Azarus? Yeah, it's an early day because I gotta get going soon, actually. Shit, what time is it? It's two o'clock. I gotta get going in like a half an hour, maybe. I got more GDC uh, stuff going on tonight. So I gotta, I gotta bar over to the city, which always takes a long time. And there's like three events to go to tonight. Ah, yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. Oh, I'm so tempted to just let this situation go and not fix this bug right now, but this is a rare bug that happens sometimes where you can't. You just I'm sitting here trying to press a button and not nothing works. And so it'd be really good to catch this bug while I, while I got it right in front of me. How can I catch this bug? Let's see if it clears the buttons if if there's an input lock. Oh, an input lock would be the first thing to check if it even has. I guess input system take would be a great place to do that. This is gonna go and check. Wait, is locked? Is that it? No, it's not is locked. It's, it's something, I think it's input component actually. Oh, this game is paused. That's it. Pause count. All right, we'll set a breakpoint there. All right, great. So we're getting, yeah, we're calling this from input system tick. Paused equals game is paused. We've got a pause count of one, which is perfectly appropriate. Here we've got a pause count of one. That's exactly what it should be right now. We're in a, we're in the middle of a flux, which is a little transition or whatever where it's showing the item that you just obtained and pause count should be exactly one so that's perfect okay let that run you know what here's a curious thought what if it's not even getting any input right now what if we've lost our input completely? Like lost input focus or something weird. We got on key pressed, on key released. Let's set some breakpoints here. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the game, press a button. 
Yes, good. We got on key pressed. This is great news. <clears throat> Set input type keyboard, set button down, code true, code 129, looking for a binding, binding returned, looks good, first, yeah, positive number, second zero, input set button down, Get my player E and find that second. Wait a minute. Get my player E in. Oh yeah, player index zero. Right, right, right. Okay, that's that's still correct. Yep, me neither, man. I don't got the money to go. But luckily I live here in the Bay Area, so at least like I can afford like 10 bucks to go over to the city and go to a free party, you know. That's the good news. If you can get yourself to the Bay Area during GDC time, pretty much all the parties are free, man. Even the liquor, the booze, everything is free. You just go. You don't necessarily have to go to the conferences is what I'm saying. Is the Flux timer broke? Possibly. Thanks for thanks for the thought here, Azarus. I wonder it could be. I have I have no idea what's going on here. It looks like we're getting the input. So this this should return one, yeah. And then we're setting binding up first. Is down. Is down. It should be true. Button index. Four. That's fine. So we're grabbing the input component for our Ian. Not empty, great. So we're calling set button down. Great, yeah, it does it. It puts button down. So this buttons. Can't view that. Yeah, totally. Go to the packs, man. Yeah. Get to know some people a little bit. And also button time, since this is down, should be getting set fine. Okay, this... I'm I'm confident that it is putting the button down. And we don't really need to check the rest of this method. This is all debug stuff. So the next piece of this puzzle is that it should get the on key released. I'm going to let the break let it run and yeah, cuz I already released the key a while ago. We got this event to for the key released. Should be the same code, yeah, 129. We got, we're releasing the held key code. Now we're gonna set button down to false. Should be the same binding it finds. Yep, same binding, four, zero. Uh, and yeah, everything else here should be fine too. Let's make sure it returns player e had one, yeah. And stepping in to set button down, this should just now is down false. So this could be, there's a couple more things we need to check. This function needs, yeah, it needs to call this release buttons. This is a very, this is what it needs right here. Release buttons, true. All right, and here's another important part of this whole puzzle here. Is button down, this should be true.
8 seconds should be true. Yeah, all right, good. So we did it good. Okay, great. We're setting release buttons equals true. I'm gonna set a breakpoint there. Remember this point, this this point in the code. Um, the next thing that it that we need to do is to verify that it's not clearing the release button. Input system has a function where I think it calls clear clear release buttons. This just works for all input components. Clearing the release buttons. I already said breakpoint there. Let's check the tick. Because we're in flux tick when we finally call this. Yeah, let's turn this one back on. Enable this breakpoint. Okay, so now, now the thing is to see what happens first. Do we get this input tick? Because we know that at this very moment, this input component has a release button. It's true. So once we, what, what comes first? Does it, does it check if the button has been released or does it clear the release button first? So when I press play right here, we're gonna find out. Okay, it's pressing another button. Wait a minute, this could be part of it. What code is this? Code 19, this is a different button. Which is not bound. And we're releasing code 19 as well. All right, in there, we're committing the selection. Oh, does it, oh, here's the bug. Oh, well that's good to know. It's, it's running this flux tick right here. Everything was totally fine with the input the entire time. It's running this flux tick with the wrong entity. What, what entity is this? The mini boss. The mini boss should never trigger an item flux. How could this guy have triggered the flux? Become transient id. That's crazy. Okay, good. Oh, this is great. I'm really glad. Really glad I did not stop this this executable from running right now. I took the time to debug this because now I understand that there's something going on in the in the systems too that's causing this pretty bad bug, which was not related to the bug I was trying to fix a second ago, but still very bad bug to have and good bug to fix. So. When it, uh, the next thing I need to do is figure out how it could possibly be getting that bug. Um, typically, the, the item flux, item flux is what we're talking about here. There's only two places where this is actually called. Do item flux, and do item flux, all right. And this is Ead. Um, I don't know if Eid is the right Eid to use. Pick up item. What's up, Arcane? Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
I'm in the middle of some bug fixes right here. Um, I'm deep in a, in a bug fix right now. It's very important, and I've almost got it. This is a this is a bug where you pick up an item, and you, you no matter that you're pressing buttons, you, no matter that you're pressing any kind of keys, whatever, it still won't accept your input. So crazy bad bug, right? And I just figured kind of out what's going on. What yeah, what Ead should run the flux is the player, so which is should be Ead one, which is always always the player because it's the first Ead ever created. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out how it could possibly have used a different Ead for to start this flux. Because it does appear, I mean, there is kind of one, I mean, we're going in, we're going into ton of, tons of lambdas. There's a, this is a, a lambda inside a lambda that we call this one. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to doubt that just yet. I know that's, that's, kinda, you know, lambda inside a lambda, but still. This is just a, this is just an unsigned integer. There's no way this. I don't think there's this could be corrupted or whatever, in the middle of being transferred. It it and you know what? It's actually 750, which is the enemy. So that's it's getting a, an e. It. It's just that. You know what? It's, <laughs> As weird as this sounds, it could be that the, oh, you know what? That's probably what it is. It's probably just that the, the enemy picked the item up. Oh my God, that's probably what it is. Hey Arcane, I update Songbringer about once a week or once every 10 days. I'm working on fixing some bugs that are th this bug, the really important bug. You, I think you've reported it. Many people have reported this bug, um, where you you're fighting the first guy that gives you the top hat, and he doesn't give you the top hat. I've already fixed that bug. I'm working on another fix that will make it so you you'll pretty much you should never ever get that bug to happen again. And now I'm working on a, a third bug, which is kind of related. Okay, I think I can let go of this this run. And I'm gonna set a breakpoint here. Actually, I'm gonna go like this. If e.id is not equal to game, get my player in. We're gonna go ahead and break right here. And figure out why it would be allowing the the enemy to pick the item up. Yeah, you reported it, so did like 10 other people, everybody got this bug. And it was pretty obvious once I fixed it today, I'm like, oh my God, yeah. This is, it was um, related to, related to the story system and some other some other things I, am, I fixed recently, which kind of broke this, so. Um, all right, we don't need it, yeah, we don't need any of these. Great, okay, we got, uh, we don't need this one. Don't need this one. Don't need this one. All right, great. Kill this guy. This is on foe death. Let's disable that breakpoint. So that time it didn't. It didn't happen. We did not get the bug. We we're able to pick the top hat drone up just fine. Wait, did I pick it up twice? Oh, I did, I picked it up twice.
Oh yeah, yeah, I do need, yeah, what time is it now? 2.30, I got 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes in today's stream. I, I hopefully I can fix both these bugs. So I know, I know that in health system, or yeah, on let's go to on foe death. Here where it drops the item. So I know, whoops. I know that what I what I did wrong here was that I need to call e health item equals k item none so it doesn't go and try and drop the item again. In fact, is there anywhere else in here that calls set item status? Yes, it does. It's when you kill the boss. So this needs to be if health item not equal to k item none. So there, if, we've, if we haven't already dropped this item, we're going to create this scanned item thing. Okay, and yeah, so now I wanna undo what I just did here. So I wanna keep this bug for a second so that I try and repeat the bug where the enemy picked the item up. Which would make sense if perhaps the enemy was running Yeah, it didn't work that time. Come on, something. Why? How would it? How would it have gotten that bug? Curious, curious. Last time he died. Let's try and get him over where he died last time. Maybe it has something to do with where he was. He was like up here. Still nothing. Come on, repeat bug, come on. Was it was it jumping higher? Was it was it because last time I had a hundred here? Yeah, if this doesn't if I don't catch it on this this one, I need to look at and try and understand why it might have actually called that. And that will probably lead me to the solution. Okay. Well, I picked up three times that time. All right. I don't know. Let's set that to like 40 or whatever. Okay, so what, how could an enemy actually call pick up item? I mean, there's all, there's always a chance that the enemy didn't actually call pick up item. But let me see if I can understand this. I got how much more time? I got like five more minutes. Okay. Oh, mood boomerang. Oh my God, Mood Boomerang can actually pick items up. So, oh my God, this this guy right here, this mini boss has a boomerang. He has the pornerang or whatever. He's a boomerang type enemy or type weapon, which looks like is top hat. Okay, filter top hat. Okay, hold on, the hornerang. As category shot shot foe, so it shouldn't be calling that.
This function calls pickup item boomerang out Oh my god, boomerang in. No, I think this is probably it right here. Mood boomerang in doesn't have anything to check whether it's whether this is um yeah, this has got to be it right here. This is totally how this boss could have picked up an item. His boomerang was out flying in the air. And he dropped the item at the exact moment that the, the, the horn rang was coming in and it could pick up an item. That's, that's totally how this could happen. So, okay, I'm gonna put two checks in here so this never happens again. First of all, I'm gonna check if it's a top hat. And if it's not a top hat, we're not gonna, we're not gonna pick up items. So this is if is top hat. So that's one part of this fix. Second part of this fix in gear system pickup item, if an entity does not have a gear component, which the only the only entity that does have a gear component is the player. So if e.gear.empty, we return from pickup item. This should never ever ever happen that an enemy should pick up an item. Okay, and last thing, let's go back to health system on foe death and turn this back on so it doesn't create like three top hats. All right, so that should fix everything. But we'll see, we'll check it out. Yeah, I know, crazy bugs, but that, that totally could happen. That was, that was verified, man. It was not checking for that top hat flag there. That's, that's totally how that could have happened. <laughs> okay, so this time, you should be able to kill this guy. The top hat should come flying out of him. There should only be one top hat. Yeah, good, good. It works. It all works. Okay, let's try and get the enemy to die, like, right here. Or, oh, oh, I got I got an interesting idea. I got an interesting idea. I can get the, the this guy to die, the drop mini boss. Let's make him able to walk. So give him no mask, and that will make him so he can walk on anything. So I'll make him die when he's on some water, or a bush, or some rocks, or whatever. And then when the item comes out of him, it should put it at a, at a good spot that I can get to. Come on, dude. Walk over the... There you go. Come on, walk on some water. Yes. Oh, it didn't work. All right, so there's one there's one part of this bug I still need to fix, and it's that. It did not, it should have put that top hat, it should have like made the velocity, there's, there's a bit of code already in there where it makes the velocity happen so it doesn't, that an enemy or an item that gets emitted is not on a bush or on a water or whatever. So I need to fix that, make sure that works. But that's pretty much all the time I have for today's stream. I gotta, I gotta get my ass over to the city and get to some GDC parties tonight, so. Um, uh, yeah, sorry for the short stream, uh, but, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And, um, I think, yeah, I think I'll have some time to stream tomorrow and I'll be streaming some more this week. And then once again, the update for this, for this week for Songbringers coming out like this Thursday or Friday, there'll be bug fixes, there'll be new stuff and new, yeah, it, it hopefully it'll be better than last version, so. See y'all. Thanks for watching.